family, it's your boy Javer Fitzbogle coming at you from the detox where we take an intoxicating world and bring it to a detoxifying God. Let's get it in. So today's scripture is taken from Ephesians 6 and 11 where it says, Put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand against the schemes of the devil. We go through many trials and tribulations, different attacks from the devil. I tell you that the devil himself has plans to destroy you. In Ephesians 6 and 11, it tells us that he has schemes that he uses against us. Literally, he has plans to attack you. Now I want you to picture for a minute, the devil is literally chilling in the corner with his desk and his laptop, and he's writing down points in which he can use to attack you. Every single one of us has weak spots on our body. Now I want you to picture this for a moment. The devil is in the corner of your room, and he's sitting there and he's watching you. The Bible says that he roams around like a lion seeking someone to devour. I promise you, the devil is watching you. And he's in the corner over there, and he's sitting down on his laptop, and he's he's taking down points. He's, he's looking up your weaknesses. He's like, oh, that person struggles with lust. Oh, that person struggles with pride. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that person struggles with anger. Oh, oh, that person struggles with greed. Oh, that's a gluttony spirit. Okay, I see where your weak parts are. Now, why does he do something like this? It has to know where your weaknesses are. Because just like a thief that comes in the night to steal, to kill, and destroy, a thief must know where the weak areas of the fortress is. I have never seen a thief that tries to break into a building and has no idea the layout of the building. Could you imagine a thief trying to break into the White House and he has no idea how many guards are standing at the front, the corners, the top, how many snipers are there ready to take him out? That that would be a really dumb thief. But Ephesians 6 tells us that the enemy sits in the corner and he has plans and schemes to attack you. So he seeks out for those areas of weak points. In Ephesians 6 and 13 it says, therefore put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand against the devil in that evil day. Therefore we must put on the whole armor of God. That is the belt of truth. That's the breastplate of righteousness. Shoes for your feet. Put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. And in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith. Because I promise you, without that shield, how are you going to put up against the fiery darts of the enemy? Of course, you're going to need the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. And lastly, do not forget to pray. Oh, and one more thing. Don't fall asleep. Keep alert with all perseverance because he is coming and you don't want him to catch you when you're asleep. So we understand now how important it is for us to put on the armor of God, but not just to put on the armor of God, but to put on the whole armor of God. For what is it to a man to have a shield and no sword or a breastplate of righteousness, but to have no shoes that you can run into battle or to have a helmet and have no shield? Like there's, there's no logic in that. I promise you, if you put on half the armor of God or three quarters of the armor of God or nine tenths of the armor of God. The enemy will seek out the exposed weakness on your body and he will attack their first. Truthfully, the enemy is not going to come in and attack the strongest part of you. In fact, he won't even attack the second strongest part. He is going to look for the weakness that you have and he will seek to exploit it at all costs. Look at this analogy. You have a group of sheep, you have a strong one, and you have the weakest one. You have a leader and you have all the way down to the baby. When the enemy comes in like a pack of hyenas, right? The hyenas are not going to attack the strongest, fastest sheep. They're not going to do that. That's pointless. They're going to attack the weakest, smallest, most vulnerable part. Like a thief that comes into a diamond store like K Jeweler. He steals from him, but he has to know the entrance into the store. He has to know the weak spots. Is he going to go through the front or is he going to go through the back? Is he going to go through the roof or is he going to dig a hole through the ground? Which I don't see why you want to dig a hole through the ground, but therefore take up the whole armor of God. When the enemy comes knocking at your door, when he comes in to manipulate our feelings, when he comes in to divide our marriages, when the enemy comes in to entice your kids to do things that they're not supposed to do, and when things get tough and your back is against the wall, and the enemy comes in like a flood and you don't know what to do and you're fighting with all your might and you're doing everything that you could possibly do to stand. Stand. The Lord is on our side. 
Hey family, thank you so much for watching this video. If it has been a blessing, please double tap and subscribe below. But if there's anything that I want you to remember today is that you are loved, you are blessed, you are beautiful, and most importantly, you are detoxified by grace. This is your boy, Javert Like Air. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves peace. Father, help us, Lord, to understand what it means to put on the whole armor of God so that we may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh.